Do you ever feel like you just need to get away to a quiet, peaceful place? Um, maybe like a little cottage in the wild woods where you can re recreate something beautiful. That's what we're bringing you with the Wildwood Cottage Collection. This collection allows you to create these magical little scenes um, where little fairies play and everything's happy and, and there's no troubles there. So join me, we'll learn how to make a shape card create these beautiful scenes and when you gift these to your friends and family they will absolutely love it. To get started with this card base, we're going to cut the base first, and I'm using the Wildwood Cottage die. So I'm cutting the base pieces. This die has a total of nine pieces, so you get a lot of dies with this set. So the first thing you'll wanna do is just take a piece of cardstock, fold it in half, and just make sure that it's larger than this die. And I wanna make sure that this blade on the left side is extending over the folded edge and then you just press your tape down here and then for the front piece I just chose a die cut background pattern piece that I want to die cut from the Wildwood Cottage Collection. We're going to cut both of these out at one time and that will create a quick and easy card base for you. So I have a longer extended plate in my, um, oops that tape popped off, just make sure you just put that back down if that happens. My tape is not super, super sticky. But since you're cutting through two layers of cardstock, I like to put another piece on top just to shim it a little bit tighter and make sure that when I'm running it through the machine, everything gets cut out very beautifully. So we'll run that through and that will cut that card base out. So this is a very quick and easy way to make a shaped card base and then you can add um, a lot of fun dimensional accents to this image. Okay, so we'll pull this out and I'm gonna pop those plates back in. So you'll just peel this aside and you have this card front piece and we'll pop this out of the base and you have this folded card axe. Now this is pressed down quite hard because we did multiple layers. Just peel that off and you'll see that the swirl is off on this side when you go ahead and just glue this piece on top that gives you your accent and then there's the roof accent piece and once you've cut that out I just cut mine from beautiful dimensional paper you can just add that on top with your foam dots and that is your card base. Once you've created the card base, we're ready to add these fun little accent pieces and those were stamped from the Wildwood Cottage which has your window, your home sweet home sign and your doors and those get cut out with the Wildwood Cottage die. So to get started, what you'll want to do is just ink up your stamp with the, uh, whichever ink color that you prefer. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I stamp, I'm stamping multiple windows and doors at one time just as a time saver. So when you do this, if you have multiple stamps, you just wanna make sure that you um, press down very well with it. Then your next step would just be to go ahead and lay the door on top with the, the die and that will cut those out. You can cut all of them out at one time. Um, if you wanted to, before you cut them out, you could also go ahead and color them, which is nice. This is uh, rhubarb stock memento ink. So um, for the coloring of the door, what you can do is just lay it down. Um, and you can kind of just fade the color through the door very quickly. Um, so you don't need to spend a lot of time coloring. Um, so that's how I colored all the accents for my um, card base. So you can just go ahead and, and add that color very quickly and easily. You can add as much or as little as you like. And the center is being cut out so you don't have to worry about um, getting the color in there. Once you've cut those out and everything's colored, you're ready to assemble, which is the fun part. So when you work with the Wildwood Cottage, you can create so many different themes and scenes. But what I like to do is just take this door piece, I put a foam dot on the one side, and then we'll put some glue on the opposite side. 
If you wanted to, you could also make that the door opens up. So you can just pop this right in the center of the brick. Let's put that in there and then you can go ahead and you could put your windows up here. And just make sure the hearts are right side up. I've got some foam dots there so that they easily come up. For the folding of the windows, I just kind of pull those shutters up a little bit so they have a little bit of dimension. I'm just gonna glue this down. Just make sure it's kind of straight. You'll add that to the top. And then if you wanted to add one more window um, to the top, you could do that as well. So you can really create um, a beautiful, beautiful scene. And you have these different elements, flowers and leaves that you can add to the top. And you'll just finish that off. Like I put, cut the grass in half, put that on opposite sides and then added the flower and the little home sweet home. And then use the finishing accents of glitter to finish that card base. Within the Wildwood Cottage Collection, we have these little fairy darlings, which are absolutely fun to create with, and I like to add little vellum wings, and we'll show you how that's done. Those come from the Wildwood Cottage Darlings set, so you'll have those three different little darlings in there, and um, those get cut out with this coordinating die, so you get the flower pots and the little mushrooms as well. And so with this one, um, what I was going to show you is, I first of all just stamped the little um, fairy with on white card stock with black ink and then I'll stamp it again and just ink it up with a frost white color box ink. This will allow you to get that vellum um, wing and attach it separately so it gives it a little fairy like look. So you'll just go ahead and stamp this on vellum. I like to use a 29 pound vellum and I'm embossing it with a, um, this is called Bridal Tinsel Embossing Powder. I like it, it's like kind of pearlizes, it has a little bit of glitter, and it's very, very beautiful. So you just heat that up, that would melt. And then I lay the die back on top of this image and, and um, cut it out and then just trim along the side to get the wing separated from the rest of the image. That will allow you, after you've, you've stamped and colored this image, you can color it however you like, you can take this wing just add a little bit of glue along the very edges. This glue does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that. And um, just set that right on the edge, just press it down, and just give that a little bit of time to dry. And once it's dry, you can go back and just pull up those wing tips, add some glitter, and it's a lot of fun and adds a very delicate look to it. With the Wildwood Cottage stamp and die combination, there are so many different variations. And with that, I'm just gonna show you a couple more examples from the design team. So here is a kind of like a fold out card um, with a house on this side and then some of the little uh, darlings and little fairy like girls just on the stump here. Here she's laying down, which is absolutely beautiful. If you're looking at these projects and you're like, man, I would like to have more um, information and instructions for these, we'll have these on the blog with written instructions so that you can go ahead and recreate these as well. Another set that I love with this is the Wildwood Cottage Accents. You'll see you have the stones, the grass, the fence, and the little gate with the bird bath, the wheelbarrow, and a flower spray, and the stamp and die coordinate perfectly together. And those are the ones that anytime you see these little floral and grass accents. Those are coming from that set. Um, and you'll see like right in here, this is a perfect way to, to showcase that. You'll see all the little leafy accents. This comes from the six by six fold out card packs. That's what I use to create this shadow box frame. So you can create these amazingly beautifully detailed scenes. Um, over here, there's another one using our six by six fold out card frame. Here's, that's how the back looks. You flip that around and you have this beautiful scene. What I love about this is the house is in the front and the right. And then this kind of looks like the backyard with the mushrooms, the grass, the water fountain, the little um, flower pot, the little fairy. Do you see how the color here is just colored in beautifully on the wings? and um, then just add those florals onto the base so you can get a lot of detail and it's just like this beautiful happy place so that's another beautiful way to create with it there's so many different cards it's like oh which one do i pick up first this is another one just pairing the fence the gate and adding those little bitty flowers and having those trail up the vine stamp for my friend use some of the beautiful background papers added some crystal lacquer to the stones um, little mushrooms the wheelbarrow so there's absolutely endless possibilities with this 
This is one of the 5 by 7 fold-out cards we just released on Black Friday. So in the front here you have this beautiful scene with this, the fence, the little darling on the stump, and then you open it up and you have the next scene. Here she's laying on the grass, you have the fence, you have the little story um, on this side. On, on this one you have um, that beautiful paper, so you can really say a complete story by just adding the paper accents and everything coordinates beautifully together. Um, another one of my favorites is just cutting out the card front panels, adding the little bird bath, the wheelbarrow, and the little birdies um, from the Woodsy Wonderland collection and just have some fun with that. The Wildwood Cottage Darlings again come from this set. So you've got the coordinating die with the flower pot, the mushroom, and all the little um, darlings in this one. That one is an absolute must have. Here are some more samples that showcase that one. Here we have the botanic window in the background, the little stone pathway, little girl with a little angel wings. And here's one with the florals. I love the way the florals pair together. You can stack them, you can use them individually, and you can um, use them with the leaves. And those come out of the set called Wildwood Florals. So you have a lot of very dainty leaves that you can cut apart, you can shape them however you prefer. So I have a couple more samples that I want to make sure that you get to see. This one is a beautiful fun card. Isn't that awesome with all the little darlings in the center, some birdhouses on the sides. Um, we have a layout um, that's beautiful if you have like a little a picture with like the little dragonfly wings. Isn't that stunning? Love how that one turned out. And there's um, altar projects that you can create. Here's a card uh, kind of with a house front and then you could use this as a little gift box. And here's another more simple card with a fence in the, in the front using a card front panel. And I wanted to show you a cute little clever cupcake that we did a little cupcake topper. Isn't that amazing? Wouldn't that be cute for a little girl's birthday party? I love how that one turned out. I've got two more samples. This one's a little fairy house. So what we did on this one is Joanne just took the house. She just cut it um, two sides and she added paper on the sides for the length and then just added those accent pieces. Isn't that just beautiful? So you can use your creative imagination and add these amazing little um, wonderland it's just, oh, isn't that beautiful? I love how this one came out with the house. It's just beautifully decorated. This is another five by seven fold out card um, that just folds out beautifully. And then let's not forget the paper on this one. This one is one you're gonna use over and over. In fact, when you place your first order, you probably want two of this one. So it's just a beautiful, um, the, like all the images are colored for you and you're gonna have a lot of fun using this paper collection. Isn't it amazing how quickly and easily you can create this beautiful, peaceful scene that your friends and family will absolutely love and your creative imagination will make the possibilities endless. You're going to love it. If you don't own the Wildwood Cottage Collection yet, make sure to order yours today. I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering. Tell me what you loved about the projects that you saw in the video today. You can leave comments below. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to subscribe to that today. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.